We're, we're unmuted. This is an audio test. Can everybody hear us? I can hear you. This is Barbara. I can hear you. Great. Thanks, Barbara. Yep. Here's Mr. Smalley. Mark, can you hear us? Oh, yes. Yes, I can. Okay. And we have two attendees from the online. I'll be very disappointed. <laughs> I'm going to shut the front door. more minutes. Thank you for dragging yourself in here. Well, uh, get, get I appreciate to do it. Just bad timing on the <laughs> We have four people online now, Jeff. I see. Okay. Oh, Dave McNair, he's our, he's the Scotts Valley yes. general manager. I don't know who Don and his, Karen Vitale had done things before. And Mitchell, I don't know who that is. You are unmuted, by the way. Okay, okay we got one minute to go. It is by my the most by my clock. internet clock here five twenty nine. Okay. Now it's five thirty. Okay, it's five thirty p.m. August twenty third, twenty twenty four. I'd like to call to order this meeting of the board of directors of the San Lorenzo Valley Water District. Would the secretary call the roll? Yes, President Hill. Here. Vice President Smalley. I think he's got his mic, mic on. Here. Oh. <laughs> Director Foltz. Here. And Director Lane. Here. And I don't see, I don't see Director Brian. Larkin. Okay. Okay. Right. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Do we have any changes to the closed session agenda? Additions to the agenda, if any, may be made only in accordance with California Government Code Section 5. 4954.2, the Ralph M. Brown Act, which includes but is not limited to additions for which the need to take action is declared to have arisen after the agenda was posted as determined by two thirds vote of the board of directors or if less than two thirds of the members are present, a unanimous vote of those members present. Uh, do any of the directors have any changes to the agenda? I do not see any. Oral communications regarding items in closed session. This portion of the agenda is reserved for oral communications by the public for items which are on the closed session portion of the agenda. Any person may address the board of directors at this time on closed session items. Normally presentations must not exceed three minutes in length and individuals may only speak once during the oral communications. Please state your name and town or city of residence at the beginning of statement for the record. Do we have any oral communications from the public? Do you have a hand up? Do I have a hand up? Karen. Karen Vitali. Uh, 
Uh, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Karen Vitale of Boulder Creek, and I am on the board of directors at Forest Springs. Um, I've represented Forest Springs on our consolidation committee since 2022. And in this capacity, I've attended numerous meetings and worked directly with Rick Rogers and now with Brian Fruess since he began his role as interim general manager. Once again, we see his employment with the district as a subject on the closed agenda. We, want, we at Forest Springs want to emphasize the importance of the district not getting caught up in the vitriol and public criticism of Brian Fruess of late. Uh, we ask that you carefully consider all the factual, credible information you have regarding Mr. Fruess. We can only speak to our interaction with Mr. Fruess and we want to express that these have been respectful, collaborative, and effective. As our residents and board members have com commented in multiple meetings over the last few months, um, consolidation is critical to our recovery from the CDU, CZU fire and ongoing viability of our neighborhood. Immediate action on this project is essential to not losing the State of California Drinking Water Grant. We request that in your decision-making process, you consider the impact of any personnel changes at this critical time and act in the best interest of the consolidation project as it has been summarized and proposed by Mr. Fruz. Uh, that's the end of my comment. Thank you for your comment. Do we have any other comments from the public? Um, Nicole Lunderberry from Brackenbray. Um, I just wanted to come tonight to see possibly um, if there was any indication about the three different uh, positions that are on there. Um, our position for Brackenbray does not change from last meeting. Um, we've had a difficult time with the interim um, general manager, and we're looking forward to getting back on course with somebody who is collaborative and open and willing to work uh, by the letter of intent. So um, if by chance that the interim general manager is Brian Perus, we are not in support of him maintaining that position. We need somebody who wants to work with the community and help us recover. So thank you. Thank you for your comments. So noted. Um, President Hill, I want to note that uh, Director Largay is on. He has joined late. Okay, Director Largay has joined the meeting from Spain. Thank you, uh, Brian, for... Uh, being able to log in from remote that distance. Do we have any other comments from the public? Seeing none. Oh, wait, oh. wait. Eva you raised her hand and dropped it down. Yeah. So uh, Eva. Eva Smolansova. Hi, my name is Eva Smolansova. I'm the Forest Bank Board President. I just wanted to um, echo Karen's statement earlier and um, remark that we are in support of the consolidation phase one and we've had positive experiences working with Brian over the past few months and thank you. Thank you very much. Do we have any other, yes, Mike Judd. Mike, you're up. That's allowed to talk. Mm -hmm. Got it now? Yep. There we go. Uh, my name is Mike Judd and I'm the interim vice president of Four Springs. I have lived in Four Springs for the last 40 years and been involved in our water system from day one. Um, I am in full support of Brian. He is the first person from the board through the operations group that has taken an active interest in trying to make the consolidation move forward. He's put together a plan that I think is sound in terms of making each project a separate project so that we can deal with separate funding and complete things so that we move from one project to another. Instead of trying to get everything together and have one project overlapping each other to the point that things just don't work. So I am in full support of Brian and I just wanna make that clear. Thank you very much. Thank you for your comments. Do we have anyone else who wishes to speak? Seeing none, we will close the period of 
oral communications and adjourn to closed session. So that's the go-to meeting for everybody else. Okay. Okay, so we're out. We're leaving. Okay, we've got Brian, Jeff, and Mark online, and we have eight attendees. I need to apologize for being late. So we're good to go. Okay, um, we are back from closed session. Will the secretary call the roll? Yes, President Hill. Here. Vice President Smalley. Here. Director Fultz. Here. Director Lang. Here. Director Largay. Here. Here. Okay. All are in attendance. Okay. Um, reporting out from closed session, we took no reportable actions during closed session, um, and we will be going back into closed session for further discussions. Um, there's nothing else on the agenda other than closed session at this time. So um, we will be going back in, and um, I don't know what time we'll be done. Okay. So. All righty. So we're adjourning to closed session again. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so we're adjourning. We're adjourning uh, to closed session. Mm-hmm. Karen just put her hand up. <laughs> put her hand up. Karen Vitale. Um, procedurally, would you explain to us um, how we get the report of actions taken if we just don't hang out waiting for the um, the closed session to come, you know, for you to reopen the open session? Do you report it somewhere else? In the minutes? Uh, they'll be reported in the minutes of the uh, meeting, which uh, we publish. Okay, so that's a couple, that's probably a week or two out from now, right? Right, they have to be approved at the next meeting, which would be September 5th, so I cannot post them until they've been approved by the board. Okay, so, so um, given that these are important hiring decisions, there's no opportunity to get visibility into those unless we hang around and wait. Officially, unless, Jeff, you wanted to... Pardon? Unless you wanted to contact them afterwards, um, like contact Karen or something. Yeah. Um, As a favor. I, I could, Karen, if you wish, I can contact you and tell you what the report out is. Um, I don't have your contact information at, you know, immediately at hand, but if you emailed me at jhill.slvwd.com, uh, with your contact information, I could call you. Um, that's fantastic. Um, actually, yeah, if you could just uh, email me a quick response, or um, that it, it, that would be great. No, this may be this may be fairly late. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, that's why I was going to suggest um, an email versus a phone call, so that we're not trying to touch base at eleven o'clock tonight or something crazy. Okay. Uh, yeah. uh, is that something proper? Oh, I, I think that's good. And how long does it take for CCTV to put this on YouTube as well? Uh, it could take them um, a couple of days. Okay, yeah. yeah. Well, in the post session. Yeah, but they'd have the report, well, report out. out. <laughs> yeah. 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 So it typically takes a couple of days. Okay. After that. Okay. Yeah, um, that would be terrific because I can disseminate it among the, um, the, uh, the board um, at... Um, Forest Springs as well, so that we can keep our, our team in the loop there. I, I much appreciate that special consideration. Yep. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Another hand up. Uh, another hand. Mark. Hang on a second. Uh, there is a Mark with a hand up. Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Would you care to comment? Hi, it's Mark Dolson. Can I request the same courtesy email notification later this evening? Yes. Thank you. That's it. That's it. All right. Thank you so much. So
we're leaving a meeting again. Okay, so we're good to go. Okay, let's see if we have any one online here. <coughs> Participants, we have five participants. That's us. I see no outside attendees, Jeff. I'm sorry, what? I see no attendees online. Yeah, I don't either. Nobody online, no. Okay, so we are finished with the closed session. We have no reportable actions taken. And with that, unless there is objection, uh, the meeting is adjourned. Thank you very much, everybody.